My name is Jasmine Farr and I'm a chairperson for the Mill Farr Superstar Scholars Program with Cornerstone School. I'm Don Foss, founder and chairman of Credit Acceptance Corporation. And I'm also the founder of the Car Dealers Care Foundation. I met Mel in the early 80s when our sons played football on the same team together at uh, Brother Rice High School. They became fast friends and it was really a beautiful friendship that they share. I just always saw him as really upbeat and uh, happy and a uh, positive person. He was a good person to be around. Once he retired from football, he went right into the business of owning his own dealership. The uh, drive that it takes to be a football player, I think he uh, used that in the business world as well, especially at his dealerships. He was very motivational. One of the things that Mel always said was that rich people have a great advantage. They can send their kids to any school that they want. Mel always thought that that would be one of his legacies, is to help people get better education for their kids. When Don told me he was founding Car Dealers Care, I was very excited about it. But I see a big sign up, and it said, um, if I remember right, it was auto dealers helping children. I look at it and I say, well, geez, I'm an auto dealer, and I can't see all these kids. How can you not want to help these kids? When he told me that he was interested in starting a scholarship and naming it after his friend, Mel. I was behind it 100%. Basically, the cornerstone philosophy was the Mel Fire philosophy, and it just seemed like a natural fit for us. My goal as chairperson is to support Cornerstone schools and their mission and their vision that they have. Well, I think Cornerstone uh, has the track record. I'm confident that they get great results with what they do. I think this program is going to give uh, more children in Detroit the opportunities they deserve. I'm most excited about working with the children. Um, I took a tour of the schools and they're great. I've been to a number of the uh, programs where they kids would present and you have to be impressed when you, you see that. It's not far-fetched to dream big. You can be an NFL player and you can go on to own the largest African-American owned business in the country. Mel proves that you can do both. Shouldn't every kid have that possibility of having that enthusiasm and love for, for learning and the love for the school that they're in? He was a superstar. Mel was a superstar. Now, plenty of kids in Detroit will have the opportunity to be superstars too.